right in the middle if you don't mind. A lot of people have been high on you, been talking about you for quite some time. We're all looking at this as kind of like the big opportunity to break out. Is that the way you're looking at things as well? I'm not looking at it like that at all. I mean, I feel like I, I've been around for a while, and I feel like I've been uh, I've been fighting some good guys for a while. It's just that now, finally, I'm going to get out the name. You know what I mean? I've been fighting tough guys for, for with, with no names, though. So it's uh it's good, though. I mean, like I'm excited for the opportunity, but I feel like it's just another fight to me, man. I'm, if anything, it's, this is like the last pressure I've ever had in a fight because all the pressure's on Diego. Right. So, that's the way I'm feeling. That said, when you say just another fight, I mean, you know, when Diego Sanchez is on the other side of the cage, you're probably going to be in for a war. So, I mean, is there any type of different preparation or a way that you go about approaching things knowing that this guy can stay in there? Yeah, definitely. I just bring in uh, good sparring partners, guys that mimic Diego, guys that don't respect me at all. You know, I'm not sparring with guys that uh, are, you know, look at me like, oh, Miles, sure. I'm looking at, I'm bringing in guys that are like, their one job is to try and knock me out. It's trying to, you know, intimidate me, trying to do exactly all the things that Diego does. So I've had that look in the gym, so there's like really nothing else I can do to prepare for, for him and how much ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Throughout your career, I mean, you've been a guy that finishes fights in the first round. Is that even a possibility here? I mean, are you even bring that into consideration that I could I could get rid of this guy in less than five minutes? Uh, in a fight, there's so many you know different ways to win, and uh, I always have that, that possibility in my mind. It's uh, I never count on it. I'm never like, oh, I'm going to finish this guy in the first. But it's, it's always something that I know I can do. So if it comes, great. But if not, I'll be ready to go 15 minutes. You had a couple of early setbacks in your career in the tournament. You see how you know, first uh, tough and then you had the loss to Ike and then, you know, your, your, set, your second chance to tough. Um, what did you learn you know, just about those, those like, obstacles earlier in your career? Uh, the biggest thing I learned is that, you know, how bad I wanted to be in the sport. You know, uh, I don't know if any of you guys been in like, uh, an injury like an ACL, but you know, it's definitely it's a huge setback and it makes you really rethink things and, and really find out what you want. And uh, you know, I, really, I really wanted to be here. I really want to be one of the best in the world. And, uh, so yeah, I was tell you, both of them were gut checks, just kind of make me like, you know, hey, it's time to you know stick with it and not give up. Were there thoughts of, of giving up at certain points? No, it was just it was just like such a bad situation though. I was like, damn, dude, this this sucks. I don't know if this is ever gonna get any better. You know, being out for a year and then you know like the opportunity with Al, like getting that taken away from me, and I was just like, man, like when's my break's gonna come? But uh, no, there wasn't really any, any quitting. It was just like, damn, this is tough. <laughs> Do you ever like think back to? Like maybe this week, you know, you're fighting probably the biggest fight of your life, you're fighting Diego Sanchez, who's on Ultimate Fighter One. You were thinking about those days when it was even really tough for you and say, hey, this is like my, this is my shot now. Absolutely, I think about that all the time. You know, I even said it in an interview before. A lot of people talk about like the, the oh, you know, like you're on a four fight win streak. I'm like, yeah, it's cool, but you know, the stuff that really wakes me up is is knowing that I've been through like, you know, I've been in some really really bad situations in my life, and I've I've always overcame them. So, you know, coming to this fight with Diego Sanchez. I mean, crap, I, I got cut from the UFC before I ever got a chance to fight in the UFC. So it's like an opportunity to fight Diego Sanchez, man. I'm like, yeah, run it. Let's do it, you know? Yeah, so. I mean, historically, you know what you're going to get with Diego. These incredible wars of attrition, this fight of the years. Mentally, is that is that something that you've you've had to prepare yourself to just be ready for that possibility? Because I would imagine it's a completely different experience than a normal fight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's there's just stuff, you know, I, I had to do a training differently. And then, you know, just, uh, you know, you, you can't really think about, oh, man, this can be a war, this can be a war, this can be a war. Because, you know, it's just kind of like burn yourself out. So it's kind of just something that, that I, I'm prepared for. And, uh, you know, when it comes, it comes. Just stay, stay relaxed there and, and try and enjoy it as much as I can. I mean, fighters always talk about their fans about other fighters, but Diego's such a hard guy to dislike. Has he been a, man, a guy that you've been a fan of as well? You've been up? Yeah, you know, Diego's a fighter's fighter. You know, he, he, every time you, you know you watch Diego fight, either he's getting, you know, whooped on or he's, he's you know, hanging in there and, and winning. But uh, yeah, I'm, I've always been a Diego Sanchez fan. He's uh, he's entertaining, you know. Yeah. So so yeah. Is, that something, is he kind of set the blueprint? Then maybe it's something that you could just look to model your career after, just in terms of longevity of being able to stay in here, be so entertaining. Hell no. Be so be so entertaining. So much punishment. Every fight. <laughs> no, uh, absolutely not. I mean, Diego Sanchez are two totally different people. Um, he's he's got different personality traits than me, and uh, and yeah. So I, I don't really model anything. You know, the only thing you can model from him is just you know his heart, and you know he, he takes uh, he takes a lot of punishment. He keeps coming. So I, yeah, you know, like I model that. Like you know, it's, it's somebody to look up to. He's got a lot of heart as a fighter. Yeah. But uh, his, his other stuff, you know, antics and uh, just the way he fights. Like no, <laughs> absolutely not.
So, I mean, I guess maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it seems like as far as his offense, I mean, there's not too much that you really seem overly concerned with what he brings to the table. It's just about the fact that he's going to stand there and take every punch and kick that you can throw. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, we all know what he's going to do. He's just going to, he likes to come forward and he likes to throw a lot, a lot of punches, you know, so uh, I, I get it. You know what I mean? I understand that. I mean, there's nothing more I can, I can do to, to prepare for that, and I, I've done that in the gym already, so it, it, I'm just at a relaxed day right now. You know, I'm just like... What's going to happen is going to happen, and I'm just ready to go out there and just just fight my fight, like I said. Is it, is it just basically don't wear yourself out punching too much while you're while you're beating this punching bag across from you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, don't get sick of, of hitting them and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, just don't you know don't don't uh just go balls to the wall and get caught up in this type of fight. You know, fight my fight. Following up on that, when when you know the, his fight with Gilbert Melendez, fans you know appropriately considered maybe the best fight of the year, certainly one of the but, you know, for as spectacular as it is from a fan's perspective, when you watch the tape as, as a fighter and somebody you're going to fight, is it actually surprisingly simple in terms of what you're seeing? You're thinking, you know, yeah, this is a fight of the year candidate, but there's actually not a lot for me to pull here strategy-wise as I prepare to face it. Yeah, you know, there, there is some stuff like you can you can pull from it. There is some stuff you can. I mean, me and Gilbert Melendez are totally different fighters, so it's kind of hard to put myself in issues. So I don't I don't fight like him, you know, as as much as you know the way he fights. I don't fight exactly like him. But uh, you know, there's there's some stuff that you can pick up. Some stuff that you know Gilbert did good and uh, you know caught Diego with. That's just some stuff I'll pick up on. Well, it's one of the things that's great about this card is all the big fights at 170 pounds. And one of the reasons for that is because George St. Pierre is gone. You know, looking at what he accomplished in his career and all that he did, do you think he should worry about coming back and continuing on? Or do you think he's done enough that he should just walk away? I feel like GSP's done enough just to walk away, man. I, I uh, You know, you see a lot in this sport, guys hanging around that are champions that, uh, you know, can't let go of something. You know, their, their time's passed and they really can't let go of it. And then they end up just getting, you know, their last, you know, end of their fight career, just getting knocked out and getting caught a lot and stuff. And, uh, I think GSP is a little too smart for that. I feel I feel like he can be honest with himself and know when his time's you know running short and he, he's ready to walk away and he's got nothing left to prove from my standpoint. Uh, I feel like he's the one of the best champions ever. So uh, so yeah, I mean I, I don't really see the need for him to come back. Yeah, this is also one of the first fight cards since you know the kind of shift on TRT where everybody's saying let's get rid of it. Yeah. You being such a young guy, I mean Chael saying he might not ever be able to fight again. Vitor kind of lost the title shot over it. What do you think? I mean, is it a good thing that it looks like we're getting rid of this stuff, or do you think maybe there's uh, room for it in the sport? You know, honestly, I I really feel like I, I'm like old school where I'm like, hey, everybody should be just natural. You know, what I mean, I don't really see a need for it. But then again, I'm young, so I don't I don't know. Maybe when I'm when I'm child's age or something, maybe I'll be like, wow, you need it and stuff. But uh, absolutely not. I feel like you don't need it at this time in this sport right now at all. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.